on the heels of Super Bowl weekend. We present a Super Bowl of professional what? red... What is this? A Red Sox cup? Where did you get this? It's been here since we've started the show. That's awesome. Many I might have ago. to steal this later. That's, oh, oh, sorry. I did, I'm not trying to ruin the set. I'm not trying to. Let me just try to pick some of this stuff up. There you go. You get the rest. Man, is it better without Bonk around here or what? What kind of a name is Bonk anyway? What is that, Jewish? <clears throat> oh. I'm Brian Webster, along with the new and improved. Knuckles Nelson. Thank you, Brian. It's very nice to be here this evening on This Week in Wrestling. And what a great show we have planned. The Super Bowl championship was decided just a couple of days ago, and now the New England Heavyweight Championship will be decided for Wrestling Star Wars. Kid USA, with all guns loaded, is all set to explode all over Curtis Slam Dog. It's going to be a good one. Why is it that you scream and yell at me, sir, whenever it is that I want to talk about an alternative subject other than wrestling, such as baseball, and you want to talk about some pansy sport like football? Well, see, that was a little segue, and if you knew anything about broadcasting, you knew anything about anything, you would realize what that was all about. I know the neon lights are bright on Broadway. Does that mean I know something about segments of broadcasting? Mm. You know a lot about uh, a lot of things. Let's, let's talk about Bonk for a minute, though. What a buffoon. Can you believe this guy? He comes out here, oh, oh, it is three-piece suit. Where did he get that thing? Walmart? You gotta be kidding me. It's like, come on, you know something? He's lucky I didn't bash him right in the mouth myself oh, while I had him Oh, really? Oh, you know, it was hard for me to hold back from doing that, you know? Wow. You there were a couple of moments when I actually thought about drilling him one, too. Just letting him have it. He's a punk. Boy, oh boy, that's your boss you're talking about. The guy who signs the paycheck. You know at the bottom where it says Gilbert Bonk? Yeah. That's him. Well, I guess... I guess I could have to say that I'm kind of like Eddie Haskell when I'm around him. <laughs> we got a Hello, Mrs. Ten. Cleaver. Mm. Hello, Mr. Bonk. He's like a dad to me. Yeah, right. Phew. Like it'll a red-headed stepfather. It'll be a tough half hour, folks, let me tell you. So the title is on the line. We will also have a top ten list. And uh, one thing I wanted to touch upon uh, before we get to the title match is... Uh, What's with Big Woody? Last time I saw this guy was, let's see, in person, was just before the holidays when we were doing our year in review for the year 2000. Everything seemed okay with Wood, happy-go-lucky kind of guy. And then uh, they turned the camera on him, and all of a sudden he's got, I don't know, he's got a few issues he needs to get off his chest, I guess. Well, unfortunately, I see, I see Big Woody more than once or twice a month like you do. I see him quite frequently, actually. And I think that he's just kind of sick and tired of some of the things that have been done and said, and he pretty much is voicing his own opinion. But he seemed to be uh, getting everything all together. He was breaking himself away from uh, your kind, if you know what I mean, and uh, seemed to be uh, forging his own uh, trail. And now, I don't know, his, his mind is out there somewhere. Well, from what I understand, you can see Big Woody seven days a week at the fitness factory in Newburyport working out and training over there. The big man is getting himself into the best shape of his career. And the only thing I question about all this cardio work that he's doing is it's going to affect his body slam bounty. One never can tell. It's still on the line. $1,000 cash to anyone who can slam Big Woody. We've seen Big Wood get slammed before. It's not like a new thing. It's I just never saw. I was. I never saw him get slammed. I saw an illegitimate hip toss one time at the hands of Brian Day. But and I still believe that he's walking around saying that he slammed Woody. But let's face it. Everybody knows it was a hip toss. Okay. You know, it reminds me of when I was in the World Wrestling Federation. When I was a World Wrestling Federation superstar, I left that company on the greatest of terms. Nothing was ever tainted like you're trying to taint Woody. What? I left there on the best of terms and continued with my career. You were fired from the WWF and told to not let the door hit you on the way out. Where did you hear that? Who told you that? James E. Cornette. Oh. The title is up for grabs as Kid USA challenges Curtis Slamdog. Let's go to...